Hello, good day folks. This is Sijish and this video I will walk you through the process of controlling HDFS permission using Ranger. So Ranger is the tool which is used for authorization and we can control the permissions of lot of components using Ranger. So we can control HDFS, HBase, Hive, Yarn, Nox, Storm, Solar, Kafka, Nifi and Atlas using this Ranger. And uh, we will see how we can uh, control the permissions of HDFS file system using Ranger. So first thing you need to do here is, so go to the Ranger and configuration, advanced uh, configuration section and uh, select this Ranger plugin and enable HDFS plugin. So once you enable, then save that and restart the services. So once you restart it, so it looks like this. So so here you can see your cluster name and other details right so i'm going to create a couple of users and uh, adding as an administrator or super user just let me log in here and uh, root so i'm going to create add a couple of user or first i'm just adding group add admins then user add hyphen g admins one user added and uh, baby so these are the two users i added and uh, these users are in admin again if you are integrating with external authentication systems like ldap or active directory or free ipa or anything so you can manage the user over there but here I am using uh, without uh, these tools. So I manually created the group and created the users. So my intention is to convert this group into admins group. So whoever belongs to this group will have to get admin access. So let me check my access here. Like So I am just trying HDFS, DFS, L, uh, iPhone, MKDR slash user slash abc1 directory i'm trying to create here so i'm getting this uh, permission denied issue because i don't have right access so uh, similarly i will get uh, the message for this or whoever belongs to uh, wh whoever is not admin won't be able to create this so i'm going here and uh, selecting that plugin from access manager so resource based uh, policies and then select this one and uh, by default you can see uh, there are cup, uh, already existing roles available so all path so hdfs and ambari qa and uh, kms key admin so all path means everything under hdfs slash so i'm just clicking this edit option and all path means everything under slash so in hdfs file system everything under slash and uh, whoever is the user i'm giving this control see this hdfs and ambari qa user i'm providing so read write and execute so here i i just want to add this user also in this group like so i'm just trying like admins so or else you can independently add the users but i need these groups to be added here because going forward if i add more admins and i just need to add them to this group that's it so save these changes because this already exists for slash all path permission i mean policy already exists i just edited that policy here so that's it so now I should be able to but again so this take a few minutes because uh, it has to sync yes so this time I'm able to create under under slash user ABC so just now this message was failing but now this is working similarly I can use mkdir sorry I need to use hdfs dfs fn mkdir slash xy uh, slash xyz under slash itself i'm trying to create yes i have that access so this is how we can create admins and provide that access 
so let me create a uh, one uh, directory for uh, developers or project one say for example hdfs dfs hyphen mkdar slash project one and uh, I've, I've created project two and uh, i'm going to create a group like uh, so pro project one group add project one and uh, project two so user add iphone g then user one then i'm creating user two under project two so my actually i i have a directory uh, a slash project one and slash project two so whoever belongs to project one group will or uh, wh whoever need this access i can control here so for that i'm i'm just creating a new permission policy here like you can add a policy and to write that project one so what is the directory so slash project one and in a recursive way so i can write here the, the description project one permission and uh, whatever the permission so what is the user which i need to enable so i can write like the project one groups or if i need to add uh, some particular user here like uh, any user two also i can add here like and whatever the permission sign i need to access so read write and execute all the permission i can access here and save that so once it is added again a few minutes you have to wait to update this change uh, it won't take much time also restart is also not required so the project one the people who belongs to the project one group so that is a user one will have the right access under here so let me switch to this user user one and uh, try to create hdfs dfs mkdir under project one like uh, so user one so this should work because under project one directory i have the permission granted for the people who belongs to project one and uh, user one is belongs to the project one and uh, like you all familiar like so there are two ways to do the permission one is with ranger another is POSIX so POSIX is the permission uh, we have seen like HDFS, DFS and LS uh, here you can see this permission so that is the permission we normally set with the CH on and CH group command and uh, the permission bits like CH mode so and to, so the combination of this will give one permission like here you can see the yarn and hadoop groups will have this permission so if i have ranger also so it take the union of this i mean so no need to uh, add the permission here in the back end if ranger is there so you can control everything using ranger so i hope you like and uh, you were able to follow me so if you have any questions so please use the comment box i will try to answer so if you have not already subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe. I will be adding much more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.